Welcome to week three of Introduction to Media and Communications. Today I really want to talk about one of my favorite parts about our college, which is MyCJC. MyCJC is an intranet used for every student in our college uh, to find out about jobs, internships, and events. If you go to the MyCJC website, which is on the link in this page, you'll actually see it's kind of a running blog of everything that's going on in our college. And you can also look on the right-hand side, there's different tabs and different texts. This is basically anything from a message from our dean. Uh, you can look at internships, you can look at jobs, you can look at events or just general news. And even the internships and jobs are then broken down by interest. So if you're looking for an internship in public relations, you can actually click on those links and see every internship that we've posted in the last three years in public relations and obviously the most current ones that are still open. Every day we get jobs and internships sent to us by alums, friends of the college, and just industries that know that we produce great students. We post these every single day on MyCJC, so definitely take a look at those jobs and internships page as you're starting to understand what field you might be interested in. This is also a good way to learn what kind of jobs are there in the field. These are the most current jobs that are being sent to us and that we're going out and finding. So if you're saying, okay, I'm kind of interested in advertising, but what does an advertising person do? Well, go on MyCJC, click on that Advertising Jobs panel or that Advertising Internships panel, and you can actually start to see the job listings and the qualifications that employers are looking for in the field of advertising. The other thing I want to talk to you about is the events. We've got some phenomenal events going on at the college. The Innovator Series is just one of many that we've been hosting, which bring in the leading speakers, excuse me, leading professionals to come and speak about everything from the future of audience engagement, the future of news, how our audiences are, are reacting to new technologies, and all of these events are both streamed live online and archived. We do this with most guest speakers in the college, so whether we have someone coming in from the New York Times or coming in from the biggest ad agency speaking in our classes, we'll be streaming those live and we'll be keeping those recordings. You can see all of these on the UFJ School YouTube channel and the links that are on this page to both the innovators and some of our other videos. The main point of this is MyCJC is a way for all students to be able to figure out what's going on in the college. Our student organizations, uh, Ad Society, Society of Professional Journalists, Public Relations Society of America, all work with MyCJC to let you know about the latest news and updates and events they're hosting and ways that you can be involved. And even as UF Online students, these events are often streamed. These events often provide information about industries, can connect you with employers. Definitely things you want to be a part of as you're a student in our college. A little bit looking forward to next week, we'll be starting our first module with a field of study, which is in advertising. Uh, there'll be a couple links on that module if you want to go ahead and start reading ahead, just to start to get an idea of what that field is like. Remember, this week, due on Friday, is the quiz. So you do have all of Friday to take the quiz, but it's a 30-minute time period, so please make sure you take that module quiz. I hope last week you took the survey that was due, that was due on Monday of this week. Um, so make sure that that is, is turned in and good to go. You'll see the, the survey is pretty simple. It was just uh, the, the Google form. Um, a couple other things you might want to be interested in is our study abroad options, which is available to UF online students. These study abroad options, they go everywhere from London to Paris to Italy. Um, and basically, they take a group of about 80 to 100 students to these places, and you can actually get credit for your major in as little as four or five weeks' time. I believe it's about a four-week trip, which is a great way to, A, kind of expedite a class, but also have this immersive experience both in culture and with other students that are interested in your field of study. Our newsroom, WUFT, uh, operates pretty much 24-7, 365. We have students producing radio packages, TV packages, and web stories. If journalism is something you're interested in, we'll definitely provide the contact information uh, for our director of the news operations so you actually could contribute to our news operations and be edited and start to work a little bit remotely. Think of it almost as being a correspondent. Uh, I hope everything's going well so far in, uh, in your different classes. Make sure you take that quiz this Friday. Uh, make sure you start to familiarize yourself with how to write short. Uh, if you want to get a little bit of a head start for how to write short, uh, chapters 1 through 5 will be assigned for next week. Uh, they're very, very short chapters, some only just a few pages. Uh, so if you want to get a head start on that reading. We'll see you guys next week and have a wonderful weekend.